today's lesson is going to be how to make some really really easy ribbed crocheted fingerless gloves you can use whatever yarn you like it doesn't really matter I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial as much as I've enjoyed making it I absolutely love these gloves they are so easy and they are so cute as well okay I hope you enjoy the video what we want to do is get our hook and our yarn I'm using some quite thick yarn so I need quite a large hook we've got an 8 millimeter hook there and what we need to do because we're making these gloves we want to make the chain from where we want our gloves to start so about your knuckles until you have it long enough to go up your arm now you can make your gloves little short ones or you can make them as long as you like so here we go this is how long I have made my chain starting at my knuckles and it's about two inches below my wrist what we want to do now is we want to single crochet into the second chain from the hook so that's not the one that's on the hook here is our first one we're crocheting into the second one there so putting our hook into the chain yarning over pulling up a loop we have two loops on our hook yarning over and pulling through two that's our first stitch made we want to do this in every chain across so into our chain yarning over pulling up a loop we've got two on our hook yarning over pulling through two into the stitch yarning over pulling up a loop we have two on our hook yarning over pulling through two repeat this all the way to the end of our chain I'm now coming up to the last stitch of my chain so going into the last chain and making our single crochet we now want to chain up one turn your work around and this time we're going to working into the back loops only so looking this is the what you look at normally so looking at the top of our crochet work here see how there's the V's on the top there we're going to be working into the back loops only so looking at our stitch this one is our front one this one here these ones and this is our back one here so we're going to be working into the back loop only instead of going as per normal we go through oops, go through two loops on our hook there go underneath them normally we're going to be going into the back loop only so let's just put our work back on so our chain one that we just did then counts as our first stitch so we're not going into this one we're going into the second stitch we're working into the back loop only so we're just going into the back loop and then completing our stitch as normal so pulling up a loop got two on our hook pulling through two going into the back loop again completing our stitch as normal the back loop now on any pattern that says back loop only this is exactly what it means it doesn't matter what stitch you are doing you're still working the stitch into the same spot into that back loop and this will change the fabric quite the way it looks quite a bit instead of our fabric looking flat it is going to give it a ribbed look kind of like a crinkle cut chip so what you want to do 
is every stitch across and from now on in every row we are going to be working the back loops only. Now coming up to our last stitch and you don't want to forget to do your last stitch because otherwise your piece won't be straight on the edges. Going into the back loop and working our single crochet and chaining one. Turning our work. And now we're going to be working in the back loops again. So missing our first stitch because we have done our chain one which counts as our first stitch. Going into the back loop and completing our stitch as normal. And we want to single crochet in every stitch across. And each row from now on is going to be exactly the same. So what we're just doing is making our piece wider. And we want to keep making rows until we're able to wrap it around our arm. So we're actually making these sidewards. Instead of making them from our knuckles down to our wrist, we are making it sideways. And I'll just show you what I mean. So this is the length of our glove. And it's going to start at our knuckles and come down our wrist. So we're making it to go around this way. The whole thing is going to go around that way. So just keep going until it's able to wrap around your whole arm.